morning, everybody. Welcome back to Hidden Oaks. Hi, Roscoe. Say hi. Say hi. Anyway, we're back. We have had an exciting weekend because we had some new life hatch on the farm. We have some new chicky, chickies, chickies, chick babies. And so they're ready to be moved. So today is moving day. We had a pretty good hatching rate, which was unexpected because these eggs were literally laying out on the counter for about a week before they went into the incubator. So that just shows you that life always comes through. Um, we've had one that didn't hatch and one who I don't think is going to make it. It's very weak and it was the last one that hatched, so I don't think it's gonna make it. We'll see, we'll watch it, we'll give it some electrolytes. Today we're gonna set up the brooder for them, so we'll show you how we do that, how we set it up, what setup we are using. It's uh, pretty straightforward and simple, so you don't need to use the same things we are using just a simple box with something to keep them warm water food will do the trick um, we will not leave the brooder in the house just because of the dogs and just in case they get a little bit too interested so they are moving into the garage for now once they start feathering out they will move into what we call the schoolhouse and then eventually get upgraded to the big hen coop and so we'll take you along, show you what we do, and I hope you enjoy. tractor supply I'll leave the link below in case you're interested in it too the nice thing is once we upgrade to an actual brooder and build it is we can just use it for its intended purpose and plant in it so right now this is our brooder we're gonna spread out some hay not hay straw we're gonna spread out some straw put them in some water and some food and then we will move them in Okay, we're gonna put a little divider in there because right now this thing is way too big for them. As they grow, we can take it out and give them a little bit more room until they are big enough to go outside. So right now we're gonna use half of this. This is plenty of room for them. There's only seven, I believe, of them. So that's all we need right now. So we, instead of a heat lamp, we use this brooder right here. Um, I need to look up what model it is. It's a K and H manufacturing brooder with 25 watts and um, it's just electrical. It plugs into um, the wall and provides plenty of heat for them. It's adjustable by height, which is great. So as they grow, you can make it a little bit bigger so that they can still cuddle in nicely um, underneath it. And that's where they kind of huddle up and warm up and again, as they feather up, they don't need that um, added heat anymore and they can move on from there. So let's see. What do I have right now? This. <clears throat> All right, here we go. Here is our heat source. Okay, we'll have some food and water, and then we are going to 
go. So what, what you want to do in order to give them a little bit of extra strength is when you fill this up with water, add some electrolytes to it. You can find these either online or um, at Tractor Supply. Sometimes Walmart carries that as well. So just put in some electrolytes. One little scoop for one gallon of water is plenty. And then that will give them uh, a nice little boost in order to get their health up and get them running. Water's ready to go in. So this right here is what we're using, Hydrohand 3-in-1. It has, let me let me show you. You see this? Okay, so you can find that tractor supply. It's a Mana Pro product and it's really good. It's got probiotics, electrolytes, and acidifiers in it. So it helps them with a good boost. And like I said, you just need one. Let me see. One of these little scoops for one gallon of water. It smells really good too, which promotes them actually drinking it. So this one smells like vanilla. So we're gonna add this to the water and we're good to go. All right, here we go. Water goes in. Let's see where we can put this. This should be good. Yeah, this will be good. All right. Are you guys ready to see the chicks? Let's go get them. Say hello to our little chickies. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The seventh one is not looking so hot. Um, we're gonna leave him in there, see, hopefully he'll, she'll make it. And we'll keep you updated on them. Well, they're all set up. They're exploring, they're already starting to scratch, so that's pretty immediate. As soon as they come out of the egg, they, well, once they come out of the egg, they're pretty weak <laughs> because they've spent all their energy trying to push through that eggshell. Once they're out, um, it takes a few hours for them to kind of rest up a little bit, build up some strength, and then they come back strong. And um, so these chicks literally hatched yesterday and the day before on day 21 and 22 when they were supposed to. The first one out is obviously the strongest now. So he or she is the leader of the pack right now and definitely the alpha at this point. Standing up, walking, scratching, eating, drinking really well. So hopefully they will keep it up and we will keep you updated. So we have six in here now. Where's number six at? Hiding? Hiding in the brooder. So they all kind of look the same. So it's going to be fun to figure out who's mama, who's the mama for each and one, each one of them. Some of them are a little bit bigger than others, meaning, well, assuming the smaller ones um, did come from the smaller eggs, which the smaller eggs came from our coaching. So we're assuming she's the mama for these babies, uh, but we will keep you updated. This was our first hatch, so we are super excited to see them grow and add them to the flock outside. Maybe one of their mothers will take them under their wing and kind of show them around. So it will be exciting to see who the mama is for each one of them and figure it out because you know what we did rookie mistakes, we did not mark the eggs, 
we're just assuming those eggs are from this hen so we will see as they grow up how they look like who they look more like and we'll go from there and update you they will be cute no matter what and hopefully we have a couple of hens in there not so many roosters in order to add to our egg collection as well because that's the overall goal to have a bunch of egg layers we'll venture into the meat birds at a later point that's not what we're worried about right now we just want to see these guys grow and we'll keep you updated along the way i hope you liked it i hope the video gave you some good information about how to hatch it and what to expect i will drop the links below for the products that we've used for this process so that you can do some shopping if you would like to i highly recommend you trying out hatching if you haven't yet it's super exciting uh, to see though it takes hours for them to get out so have patience it's great to watch so i encourage you to try it out with the uh, with the kids as well if you have kids if not try it out yourself have at it it's great fun and we will keep you updated on the next one we will definitely do another hatch soon thanks for watching join us on the next one if you haven't yet subscribe you know follow the links follow us on instagram facebook whatever else we got out there i'll drop all the links below and i'll see you in the next video